Hello students, I am back with a new math chapter that is can you see the pattern? What does it mean actually? Pattern? Pattern means different shapes, they change their position by creating a design, we can call it a design. Okay. So, in this chapter, we are going to see different kind of patterns. Any object, when it moves in any direction, it creates a pattern. For example, suppose this is a triangle, okay? When I turn it, it may be in the shape of this or in the shape of this or in the shape of this. So, the similar triangle, it goes in a some kind of pattern, it changes into different position. So, it is creating a pattern. So, we are going to learn that pattern, how an object moves with a certain pattern. Okay. So, we can say that it moves with some angle or it turns with some angles. So, let us discuss those things first. As we know, the total angle around a point is 360 degree. So, this is the first quarter having 90 degree, second quarter having 90 degree, third quarter having 90 degree and fourth quarter having 90 degree. So, total 360 degree around a point. Again, if I equally divide each quarter, we will get 45 degree each. Okay. So, this angle is 45 degree. That means, if from here to here, it is 180 degree. So, I can say that from here, if any object starts turning from this position, it turns 45 degree to reach over here in this direction. From this direction to this direction, it goes for 45 degree. From here to here, it goes another 45 degree. From here to here, it goes another 45 degree. Same way, it turns 45 degree and comes to this position, the initial position. So, each turn is of 45 degree. Dear students, let us see it practically. Initially, the scale is at this position. When I change the position up to here, it turns 45 degree. Again, it turns 45 degree, 45 degree, 45 degree and so on to reach the initial position, isn't it? So, this is the pattern. In which pattern it is turning? It, tu it is turning with a pattern of turn of 45 degree or I can say it is turning with 45 degree of angle. As each time it is having the same value of angle during the turn. So, this turn is a pattern of 45 degree. It is maintaining the pattern of 45 degree angle. If I divide this 360 degree into two parts, so as we know that a straight line is having 180 degree of angle. So, when I turn 45 degree, that means it is one fourth of 180 degree. So, I can say that this is a one fourth turn of a full 180 degree, isn't it? So, this is maintaining a pattern of turn of 45 degree and it goes from here with a pattern of 45 degree turn and comes back up to here. Clear? So, students, as I have discussed with you regarding the pattern, how the pattern goes, now let us go through your book page wise. Okay? So, in the first page, there is a conversation between Isha 
with a friend of her. They are talking about pattern of dresses. Isha is wearing a skirt which is having the pattern of blocks. What is that pattern? One up and one down and the pattern is repeated. Her friend is talking about the pattern of the same blocks in her brother's kurta. What it is? It says that the same block were having one four turn every time. The rule is to repeat it with a one four clockwise turn. As you can see in the page that the skirt is having one up and one down pattern and it is repeated but the kurta is having a turn of one fourth and it is repeating clockwise. Okay? So students now you use these two rules. Which two rules? One up and one down and repeat it again and again. Another is one fourth turn clockwise and repeat it again and again. So you can use these two rules to make patterns with the flower block also make your own rule. How you can make your own rule? You can rotate the blocks 1 by 2. As it is being rotated 1 by 4, you can rotate it 1 by 2 and make your own rule and pattern. Fine? So students, in the second page, let us discuss some turns and patterns. Look at this block. It is a diamond shape within which there is a flower. So, we make three different rules to turn it clockwise and see the pattern. Rule 1, repeat it with a one fourth turn. Okay? Repeat it with a one fourth turn. Now, you can observe the pattern is changing with a one fourth turn. Rule 2 says, repeat it with a half turn. When we turn it half, what is happening? The flower is up, then down, up and down and it is being repeated. Rule 3 says, repeat it with a 3-4 turn. As you can see, the pattern is of 3-4 turn and according to that, the position of the flower is being changed. So students, let us go through question number 2. See this pattern. As you can see in your book, there are some pictures over there, four of them. And what rule does this pattern follow? It is following the rule of turning by 45 degree each time. So, the question says that which is the next position of that particular picture? It has given four pictures for you and three options are there from which you have to select the next position of the picture. Let us do it. So, students, at the fourth position, the picture is like this. So, as we have discussed previously, that means it is following 45 degree turn. Now, when it continues to turn 45 degree, that means it is now in this position and this is 90 degree and the half of this is 45 degree. So, it has to turn from here up to here and it will be at this position. So, now you can clearly get your answer, isn't it? It's the option 3. So, after 45 degree turn clockwise, the picture will reach at this position which is nothing but your option number 3. Fine? Using the same rule, take it forward till you get back to what you started with. So, can you find it out? How many turns will it take to get back to its original position? I hope you can very well find. Just keep on turning it 45 degree and you can reach at your destination. Fine? Students, I have shown you the process how we can come back to the initial position using the 45 degree turn. Now, you can do it by yourself. Which one? Bit B and C using the same process. Which rule? Rule of turning 45 degree clockwise and you can 
come back to the initial position by yourself okay students the next page question number 3 says that some patterns are given below on the left side of the red line for each pattern write the rule then choose what comes next from the right side of the line and give it a tick mark okay so bit a you can clearly see that the purple color triangle rotates towards right that is clockwise so can you find what is the value of the rotation yes it is 45 degree so in the same way third pictures you just concentrate on the third picture so after 45 degree turn where should the purple colored triangle be exactly it should be the second option from the right when the picture turns 45 degree purple color triangle should be in the direction of south east isn't it so the right option is option 2 in bit number b can you find the rule just concentrate on the blue colored triangle can you find the difference between first and second picture concentrate on the position of the blue colored triangle you can see it's turning 90 degree or it is getting a half turn so you can clearly see that the second picture when it goes to third picture the blue colored triangle has a turn of 90 degree so what should be the fourth picture let us find from the options given in the right side exactly it should be option 2 because when it gets a 90 degree turn its position should be same as the picture given in option 2 isn't it so now there are some more tasks for you i hope now you have understood the rule and now you can do it by yourself okay students in the next page we have another task to do look for a pattern in bit number a you can clearly see that there are seven pictures and you can observe from the first four picture that it is following a pattern can you find it yes it is following the pattern of clockwise rotation of 180 degree isn't it but after fifth picture you see that the sixth picture is same as the fifth picture that means it is breaking the rule after fifth picture the sixth picture should rotate 180 degree and the rounded portion of the picture should be downwards that means we need to correct the sixth picture to maintain the pattern of rotation of 180 degree in bit number b we have seven umbrellas now let us check whether it's following the same pattern throughout you can clearly see it is following the pattern of clockwise rotation of 90 degree in bit number b we have seven umbrellas now let us check whether it's following the same pattern throughout you can clearly see that the second umbrella is downwards that means it is rotating 90 degree third picture is also following the same rule of rotation of 90 degree fourth umbrella also follows the same rule of 90 degree clockwise rotation this is the important thing to notice all the umbrellas are rotating clockwise but what's happening after fifth umbrella the sixth umbrella rotates 90 degree is it clockwise 
no it is anti clockwise so it is breaking the rule okay it should be downwards the sixth umbrella should rotate 90 degree and its position should be facing downwards so which is the incorrect one it is the sixth umbrella so next bit is bit number c watch it carefully we have three birds which are positioned in a similar direction but the next three birds they are alternative their position is alternative that means there is something wrong in the first three birds let us check it out okay and to maintain the pattern the second bird should be facing downwards so that the patterns can be maintained now you can check first bird upward second bird downwards third bird upward fourth bird downwards fifth bird upward and sixth bird downwards now after correction the birds are maintaining a proper pattern now bit number d there are some geometrical shapes creating pictures so what is the first picture a square within that a circle within that a triangle second one a triangle within that a circle within that a square third picture is same as the first one but what's happening with the fourth picture it is an incorrect one because there is a triangle within that a square and within that there is a circle which should be triangle within that a circle and within that a square so when we correct it all the seven pictures follow the same pattern okay so students let us discuss magic squares as given in your book i have drawn the same picture over here so what it says it says that we have to fill in the blanks using numbers from 46 to 54 and the rule is total of each line should be 150 okay so how can we find it out it's too easy let's do it as we have given a pair of numbers over here 52 and 47 and the rule says that sum of the numbers in a line should be 150 so let us first of all add these two numbers which will give us 99 so now we just need to subtract 99 from 150 to get the third number 150 minus 99 that is 51 51 so here we can fill 51 let us check the other now we have another pair over here 46 and 51 so sum is 97 now let us subtract 97 from 150 okay it gives us 53 so here we can write 53 now 53 and 49 we have a blank over here let us sum sum of 53 and 49 102 so 150 minus 102 gives us 48 48 and 52 one blank square is there so let us add 48 and 52 it will give us 100 so what should be over there 150 minus 100 that is 50 so now as you have a blank square left you can go either way you can add 46 and 50 and subtract the sum from 150 to get this blank number or you can add 49 and 47 and subtract it from 150 to get the desired number 
let us see whether we can get the same number or not. So, 46 plus 50 gives us 96. 150 minus 96 it gives us 54. I am not going to fill this 52 over here. Let me check first whether going through the other process give me 54 or not. So, 49 plus 47 it gives us 96. 150 minus 96 gives me 54. So, as I have already told you by going through either way we will get the same number 54. So, now all the numbers are filled which are from 46 to 54. Let us check 56, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53 and 54. Fine. Now, there is a task for you. In the same way, you have to fill the square using all the numbers from 21 to 29 and what is the rule for that? The total of each side is 75. I have done the solution for this magic square and I know you are having an idea now how to go and fill the square. Just concentrate on the numbers 21 to 29 and what is the rule? Sum of the numbers in each line is 75. Okay? Now, do it by yourself. So, students, with this, we have come to the end of this session. In this session, we have discussed about different patterns and the rules they follow. We have also done some of the activities and we have learned how to fill a magic square. So, students, go through the concepts again. And in the next session, we are going to learn some more concepts about the patterns. Till then, keep practicing, keep enjoying life and keep smiling. Thank you.